Oh my god, I'm so excited! She's so pretty! Ah. What up Sailor Sinchi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have something I have been excited about for, well, ever since I pre-ordered her a year and a half ago or something crazy like this. This is the Luna high quality pre-painted figure from E2046. And oh my goodness, she is so pretty. I'm gonna get right into unboxing this because this is beautiful and I've been waiting so long to see her in person and I just could not wait. Now I was not sure if I would like her or not because they did switch her out from a resin, I believe it was, a resin figure to PVC. PVC does cost less. It's more durable, but over time, the paint on a PVC type of figure may end up getting sticky, unlike if you have a resin figure. Although resin figures, if you ship those, they might break in transit, just like what happened to my gigantic Sailor Moon figure. She did break, uh, but that was my fault, not E2046's fault. So they switched to PVC for her. Hopefully she lasts a nice long time. I might have to put her under glass or leave her in her packaging. Uh, but I'm gonna take her out today because I really wanted to see what she looks like in person and she's heavy So I don't want to hold this box all day long. Let's go ahead and open her Oh, you probably want to know what the box looks like. Uh, this is the front It has a pretty picture of her right there and you can totally see her inside the window on the sides You can see some prototype photos of what she looks like pre-painted along with her amazing hair That's part of the reason I wanted to purchase her and the back also has these same beautiful pictures of her too, along with the side. The front says Luna, nice and big. These colors are absolutely crazy. They have nothing to do with Luna. And the bottom is just pink. This is not a licensed figure. So you will not see Tamashi Nations. You will not see Toei stickers anywhere on here. This is a piece of third party art and it is a beautiful piece. Um, if if there was a licensed version of this figure, then I would have purchased the licensed version. However, there is not. So E2046 has saved us by making this beautiful figure out of the manga art of Luna. Uh, there is an assembly instruction piece of paper inside of the box, but there's not much to do there. You basically attach the plastic rod underneath Luna to both the display base and the bottom of the moon, and that's it. So other than that, they just give you some cautionary information like, you know, don't give this to kids under three years old. But why would you? She's way too expensive and way too pretty to do that. So first off, here's the stand. It's black. Here's the little rod that goes underneath her into the moon. It's clear, so hopefully you won't see it very, very easily. It's a nice wide stand, which makes sense because she is a big figure. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her out of the packaging and show you what she looks like. She has plenty of paper to protect her from getting the paint all over her different parts. Ooh, girl's got some boobs. Okay, so... She's got some like, she's got boobies. All right, so <laughs> this is Luna. Um, for the record, the Sailor Moon S movie is my favorite of the Sailor Moon movies. And reading the manga version of her short story, the like Princess Snow Kaguya, I think it's called. Oh, it's so good. It's like heartbreaking and I love Luna so much. My cat's name is Luna. Like I love everything about Luna. So if I can ever purchase anything that has Luna on it, I'm going to purchase it. So I love human Luna. I think her story is just so sweet and beautiful and I just had to have this figure. So this is the Sailor Moon Luna figure. I'm gonna go ahead and put her on the stand so I don't have to keep on getting my greasy fingers all over her. Okay, I think she's on there. <laughs> I hope she's on there, man. All right, so here we have Human Luna. She looks very, very much like the manga representation from Naoko Takeuchi's comic, which is where I think they got the idea for her character. You can definitely tell because like her eyes look like they do from the manga and her feet are kind of elongated like they are in the manga, like the way that Naoko draws. So I guess her features are definitely very manga inspired as opposed to being inspired from the anime. But she is sitting on this gorgeous crescent 
crescent moon. The crescent moon does have some really nice airbrushing to give it this harder yellow effect at the top and then this lighter yellow effect near her dress. The dress is also airbrushed nicely, so there's some shadowing effects in there. I also noticed that her skin is airbrushed in the same type of way, as well as her hair. Let's talk about her hair for a second. So this is a huge, huge, big old thing of hair. I mean, it's so pretty. She's got this really, really beautiful, like dark purple highlights going on in her dark hair. And there's just so much detail going on. Every single piece is shaped differently and you can tell that they molded it very specifically. So you can tell like which pieces are which. Like kind of reminds me of how I curl my hair right now. Kind of similar. I also love that the top of her hair has some different shadowing effects to it too. So it definitely brings out the details and it looks absolutely gorgeous. She's so pretty. Her fingernails and her toenails are both painted a really pretty purple color to match her hair. They're a light purple, like a lavender color. She also has a cute little crescent moon uh, anklet on one of her ankles. However, that is painted on, unlike her necklace, which is made out of plastic. And that does have a crescent moon right down next to her belly. Her dress is slightly translucent, and I think that's pretty cool because whenever I envision the idea of this anime or manga human Luna, I always think that this part of her dress would be like tulle and tulle is kind of translucent. So I'm glad that they included that so you can kind of see through it. I think that's really pretty. And it's almost got a green, like a dark green sheen to it or a forest green for the tulle skirt, which is an interesting choice. I was expecting it to just be like straight black or maybe like a sparkly black. I've seen some co cosplayers do like a sparkly black for this part of her skirt in her dress, uh, but they went with this like, it almost looks like a forest green. And maybe that's just because it's translucent. I'm not really sure but it looks really good. Even the little black bows that are on top of her dress are really detailed in themselves, as well as the bow that's behind her waist. That's really detailed. She's also wearing earrings, and those are painted very nicely. They look really good. She has a crescent moon on her forehead, and her eyes just look incredible. They look so good. Like, I, I'm so surprised that is this hand painted? Her eyes look so amazing. Or do they use like, do they use a sticker or something or like a decal? I don't know, man. But even like, it looks like she's wearing makeup. She just looks amazing. I'm really impressed. I'm very impressed with her. I wasn't sure if I would love her or not because this is the first uh, E2046 figure that I had actually pre-ordered. And this was like a year and a half ago when I started seriously collecting. So I wasn't sure if I would like her or not, but I figured, you know, if I was gonna get a figure, I would definitely get this one. I ended up getting the Sailor Moon figure from 2046 much earlier than this one came in because this was a pre-order and that one was already in stock. So I did get to kind of figure out what kind of uh, quality that 2046 does and I was very impressed so I was really excited to get her in and I gotta say I'm still impressed. She's beautiful, she's heavy, high quality, big, and gorgeous. Lots and lots of detail, lots of definition with her different features, and really pretty. I'm glad that they decided to get inspired by the manga version of her as opposed to the anime because I just love the manga so much. I just love everything about her and I'm super excited about being able to display her in my future Sailor Moon collection room or my studio. Probably my studio because I don't want her to like not be seen. She's way too pretty to not be seen. Well, let me know what you think about her as well. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. I will put a link to her information down below too so you can buy your own. I know that she's currently in stock. Hopefully she doesn't sell out by the time I post this video because she's worth the money. She's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorites. Easily, easily one of my favorites that I have in my collection. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and you wanna see more merchandise reviews as well as tutorials on how you can buy your own merch from Sailor Moon. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sailor Snubs. I love my Sailor Senshi out there and I will see you next time. Jane.